Right guys, Mike Crossford here, we've got Stephen Buzzer. Hello. Buzz Lightyear, the Buzz Man, Buzz Man, Buzz Pup, Buzz Squat. Buzz Stab, Buzz Man. I can't, is there any other ones? That's it, isn't it? Legend now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After my After your victory. Well, it wasn't a victory, was it? But it was a moral it victory. It was a moral victory. <laughs> uh, I showed the world. You did, that you are a golfer. I've played before. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing more swing fixes. We're doing how DJ gets out or performs brilliantly with his idea of swing compared to how this gentleman who sent his swing via the app does it and the way this gentleman does it is a lot more how most of the people do it yes apart from the lovely dj did you let's get stuck in right guys so interesting swing here stephen yeah. we see postures not He's very heel and hands up. Posture, so people think, well, you need to bend at the hips, but you can move your buttocks <laughs> way out, but still stay up. Yeah. So you think, we, we assume that we're down here, whereas he takes everything back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel I could just nudge him and he'd yes. fall backwards. Well, hands I, I quite he's high. He's quite tall, I think he'd push you back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's also got his right hand under the club a lot, yeah, very strong. which then from here we see a backswing coming back where the club face starts to twist around the axis of the shaft quite a lot. Uh, top of the backswing, we see DJ. Yeah, very. Similar. In face position, his wrist isn't twisted, but his fraction longer he, he as well. But DJ, twisty, twisty. Now DJ wins tournaments from here. He does. So what is he doing different to this gentleman here? So I've seen it with with the mat. Because this gentleman wants to then go yeah, yeah. out. So he's basically trying to get his path way right of his face. Uh, and he starts to push his face out to the right and then makes all the path is right of that to try and looks like curve it back. I mean his follow through is like again over here coming through. DJ is not doing that. Because you've um Go on Steve. You've yes. seen Taylor May's mat system, haven't you? you went, yeah I have, I've been on it. It's great, yeah, I love it. So I, I saw some data and he gets the shaft very much forward. Yeah. Even with driver. Yeah. This guy seems to be lifting. Yeah. DJ gets it forward. Probably not a move that you would usually teach but obviously for his position it works so what you're saying there is if i put that twist in this gentleman is using upward handle yes to try and change it he's also changing path so much that he's trying to align face differently as well dj's putting twist in and taking that out with handle lean yes and you'll sometimes see it like in, in so his, he then in so, so he then doesn't have to change his path so much because his face will be delivered let's say closer to zero to target line. Yeah, definitely. So then he can swing straight at the target line or move his path slightly side of the target line if he wants to shape it. If this guy's face is going to be delivered, say, 10 close to a path, yeah, yeah. well, he needs his path 20 right, doesn't he? Yeah. And you'll, he needs it 25 with, right. Yeah, yeah, and you'll see with, with DJ... To he, hit target. He, um, like, take Picard. Picard's using a loft of, like, six and seven. Yeah. DJ... Like in his SLDR, I think it was a 10.5. Yeah, I saw a 10 or 10.5 in his aero burner as well. 9.5, so it's all relative to his delivery. Yeah, absolutely. He, he talks up, he opens his lower body. Massively. Massively, and we talk about X Factor at the top, so that mm -mm. turning against your lower body. Yeah. He has the opposite, very shut with the upper body, very open with the lower body. This is an impact. Yeah, yeah. It's a move that the majority of people can't get into so best that they probably don't get into that position on the way yes. back so, so this guy then can you can you that and he's an athlete yeah like myself i am he's professional sports like, Stephen. i know for a fact that he goes to the gym a lot to try and be like yeah i see i see him there lots <laughs> <laughs> i'm the boy and in the tight i'm and in the tight yeah they got a really nice costa there <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. so for this guy to not dj yeah? Yeah. To un-DJ himself. I would like to see, let's go back to posture to start. So posture, like you were saying, I'd like you to see, try and get your shoulders ahead of your toes rather Definitely. than be so back, just Definitely. to start you off. So feel like you're leaning forward from the waist and letting everything move forward a little bit more. Then let your arms hang down so the club then comes out rather than this kind of fishing. Yeah. Um, right hand on top, please. Get the right hand more finger based than on top rather than fisty and underneath to try and get rid of that twist. Um, 
often when you get people to get the right hand in the correct position with this backswing, um, they then take that, start taking that twist out. I, I, I don't think I've worked on it for years, asking anyone to try and twist it differently, no. particularly on the way back. Um, apart from people who put twists that way, more lofted twists yeah. rather than deep no, no, twists. No, definitely, more in the fingers. Yeah. So you want to be able to feel like you can make that move. Absolutely. And then the next thing I would like to see this person do is try and get his club path to actually go left because that twist will make less sense that way as well. Yes. Um, and it'll get him to learn how to maybe use the face in a different way to the path. Because if he's swinging left with that twist in there with no intention of yeah. getting the handle forward, so it's going to hit the fence here. <laughs> so people like this I get who are heavily twisting, then swinging, like I say, 20, 25 out to the right. I actually f uh, fiddle around with their grip to get it somewhere where I might take a bit of twist out. And then I actually try and get them to swing hard left open hips, open shoulders up on the way through, just to get some feelings of some different alignments to face the ball. Yeah, and he, he's got a nice bit, he's... He's athletic, he can hit it. He's so high in here. Yeah, well he has so, to be. So trying to feel like, almost like there's a ceiling and yeah. he's just trying to keep it underneath. Oh, absolutely. Right arm across the chest on the way through. I get people to do a lot more. Because this guy, like you say, I mean, he's literally kind of there, then coming round. It is extreme, isn't it? I mean, he looks like he's... It looks like a top golf centre and he looks like maybe he's kind of starting. Yeah, yeah. Very common. And often when people have played other disciplines, using bats and rackets, yeah. tennis, cricket, I don't know what, it, that looks like a top golf in America to me. I don't know what baseball yeah. disciplines are, but um, using maybe some other skills that he brings to golf sometimes yeah. don't help. And like we've used the DJ example. DJ. I would, I would try and take it to the extreme on the range and then find, does it give you more options? Can you then find a middle ground? Oh. I just wanted to rubby tackle <laughs> you then so much. No, I agree. I totally agree, you know Stephen. Mean? Yeah, absolutely. It is finding those grounds that allow you to, how far left does it take or how far left yeah. do you have to swing to get some different shaped shots? How far over does the grip have to be so you can actually strike it and then change the direction? It's not about perfects. Definitely. It's about functional, getting that player to be as functional as they can. And it might even be for someone with that much of a rightward path and a twisted face that you just work with a big draw as well. Yeah. I'm not saying you have to do these things. These are the things that they should be trying yes. when you certainly see people like this. Yeah, it's an experiment. I think hitting a driver like that would be blooming hard. Because yeah, you start I... with less loft and you go and yeah. twist all that loft away. Irons well, with loft, you might get away with it. Do you mean if he's got a nine degree driver? Yeah. It's not working. No, absolutely. It's a bit more loft. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. Thanks, Stephen. Cheers, thank you. Thanks for sending the swing. Uh, post comments down below as always, and we will speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.